back in the TV. Hello, Internet. It's John Ray with a special South by Southwest edition of Balcony TV Austin. My next artist, you know from his often haunting but beautiful lyrics. You love him for his iconic music. This is David J. How you doing? Hello. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, Rather absolutely. Flattering. What uh, what are we? What song are we going to be hearing today? Uh, this is Dust in the Wind, and it's from my forthcoming album, An Eclipse of Ships. All right, Dust in the Wind from David J. It's a long way from Manila to Amsterdam. It's a long way from Amsterdam to Portland, too. When your love life is vanilla and your head's a traffic jam, what's a poor wild gypsy girl to do? Sometimes carrots dangle, destinations are them pin. An opportunity arises too good to sin. So you switch your cars and horses, the old paradigm is bent. There you go again, dust in the wind. Now the water's edge is calling, I hear the chime of a distant bell. And it clears the ships, piratical in the night. With that scarlet keepsake, I could voodoo your taunt on heart. Spirit you back to the Crystal Hotel. Brushes in your hair and Africa in your hips Your stalkers and your suitors in pursuit Well, you throw them off the foxy scent Then predator is prey You swim when I take aim and then shoot Sometimes carrots dangle Destinations are them pin an opportunity arises Ah, it's too good to sin So you switch your cars and horses The old paradigm is been There you go again Dust in the wind You whispered your secret gypsy name And stitched a dream upon my sheet Then inhaled another Casanova's kiss there's sweet meats and black lilies With the concierge Dust in the wind you will be missed Dust in the wind you will be missed Dust in the wind you will be missed Cool. in here. This is Balcony TV Austin and I'm here with David J. Thanks for being here. Glad so, to be here. I, I, I want to ask you, you, you've got a super impressive discography. Uh, you know, you, you've made a lot of music over the years. Tell me the, the difference between what it was like writing the very first album versus what it's like writing music now. Does it get easier? Uh, well, if you mean the first band album, which was Bauhaus, mm -hmm. I mean, that was very much a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. So the main difference there is that when I, you know, I'm, I'm solo, mm -hmm. it's, it is collaborative, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and I love that. I love that cross fertilization of like different inputs and I welcome it and encourage it. Anybody can chip in and, you know, pitch in because mm -hmm. um, it keeps it very, very alive. Um, but obviously when you, you are essentially solo, then the emphasis is on, on you and, and you have to deliver. Uh, so there's more pressure, but at the same time, there's more uh, freedom, mm -hmm. and that's very liberating. Um, but I like to uh, go back and forth and play with bands and, and play on my own, because then it's stimulating, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like constantly changing it up. Yeah. This band that we've got at South by Southwest 
it's the first time we've all played together mm -hmm. and we just put this band together it's essentially the core group that played on the album and mm -hmm. Eclipse of Ships in the shop soon <laughs> uh, released mid-April on my own label Sorted Records um, with a uh, wonderful um, augmentation of uh, Lisa uh, Salou here on the mandolin and Aubrey Richmond on the violin. Right. They were like 11th hour editions and they've, they've, they've really stepped up to the mark. Great. So. Now, let, let me ask you this, as you're writing, a, it, it seems like in, in any creative art, freedom can sometimes be a daunting thing because you don't have anything to kind of rein you in. Do you I find that sometimes you need to give yourself limitations to be able to think in a certain creative direction? Very, and what would that very, look like? Very interesting question. I, and I really like being given um, a directive. I, I just... For example, what immediately comes to mind is I did a, a collaboration with a, a Dutch band called Strange Attractor and they gave me, they approached me and said, we want you to contribute a track to our album and we'll give you the title, can you write some lyrics and do a vocal? And the title was one word, sleaze. So I had to write something that, you know, um, portray that idea of like sleaze, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I really relish that being given a, uh, a task um, but yeah outside of that I d it's it's not daunting for me because I don't try to write music it just kind of bubbles up sure sometimes it's an inconvenience because I, I don't really <laughs> I don't really want to work on music I want to do something else but it's so compelling and it just comes upon me I'm kind of seized by this it is like a muse mm. and I have to obey the muse sure yes now, let me ask you this. Is it easier for you to, as you're writing music, work with other musicians? I know that you've also drawn inspiration from graphic novels and working with poets. You, when, when you're writing an album, who do you like to work with and, and how do you find the, the best kind of creative frequency to, to get what you want completed? I find that collaborators just come into my orbit and I... Go, and I, I enter into their orbit naturally and and it's um it's sort of like be, just being in this flow mm -hmm. and it's you don't have to try and that i think if you try to make things happen then you 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 make make it unlike more unlikely that it will happen mm -hmm. and if you just sort of become open and receptive receptivity is very important just mm -hmm. being open then you you attract and, um, and there are others out there who are in a similar mindset and they're attracting you. Yeah. So there's, there's this uh, natural sort of coming together and syncopation. And so really it's more a, an allowing of those kind of components to come together. And, uh, you know, I, I think what it, what's interesting, I see a lot of times, you know, people coming from these great projects that, that were collaborative band projects and, and then reinventing themselves uh, as solo artists and, and kind of doing their own thing. What do you think some of the pitfalls are as people are making that transition and how have you tried to approach that? Uh, I think some of the pitfalls are not having your arbiters of taste like and, and having some real people that, like real friends who who are not shy about being frank mm. and brutally honest mm. i think that's one of the best things about being in a band if you can make it work is that you just it was certainly the case with love and rockets where we could just be really speak our mind up front straight away if you didn't like something you said mm. why and then well, why don't you like that so we how do we make that better? Where should that go? And it becomes very collaborative. Mm. So when you're just on your own, you don't have that so much. Unless, you know, you, you have collaborators, you have, like, it's not a band, but it's whoever the musicians are playing with you mm -hmm. in a, on a solo project. Uh, you have to be open to their input. And as I say, I really encourage that. Yeah. It's stupid not to be open to that and be dogmatic and like shut down input yeah I have been in situations where that has been shut down and it it completely negates creativity and and productivity so yeah you just have to be again open sure but but also you have to be strong enough to know 
not like too open, like it's just right. everything's great. It's like, no, you know, what's your idea? It's either great or it's not. If mm -hmm. it's not, you say, with no offense, and move on. Yeah. If it's great, great, we'll do it. So now that you have the, this new album, tell me the name of the album again. An Eclipse of Ships. And it's on your new record label, yes. which is? Sorted Records. Sorted Records. So for people that want to learn more about David J and, and your music and, and where they might be able to see you live, where can people find you online? Uh, well, obvious place is my website, which is davidjonline.com. Okay. And then Facebook's a good contact point, hub. Um, but there's lots of stuff out there on, on um, various fan sites and YouTube, and um, I'm all for you know dispersing the seed, yeah, so that it you know results in um, offspring. Yeah, and I think it's really interesting when you, when an artist can you know kind of burst something into creation and then watch it get grow legs of its own and, and kind of take on a life of its own and it sounds like that's uh, what this new album is for you sure yeah 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 it has a theme as well it's it's all about women it's it's uh <laughs> it's a tip of the hat to ladies all right <laughs> and uh yes from the heart very good well, and, I'm, and other points. <laughs> I'm here with David J. His new album out on the interwebs. Check it out. Comes from the heart. Thank you so much for being here. Thank it's a real so pleasure and an honor. And I'm John Ray with Balcony TV Austin. Thanks for watching. Balcony TV.